Now it's snowing. God damn it. I hate winter. Okay. <clears throat> Hey friends, it's Cammie. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. I'm back regularly with videos about the trans experience. And before you say anything, I know it's been like three weeks since my last video, but I've been depressed, so whatever, shut up. Um, today we're talking about the uh, my seven month HRT update. Before we get into it though, I do want to say real quick, YouTube's been deleting comments. So if you post something and it doesn't show up, I assure you I didn't delete it. Um, just try again, maybe using some different verbiage. I only delete the transphobes, so if that's not you, just try again. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is first we're going to talk about uh, any firsts that I've had over the last month, uh, and then we're going to talk about... What is it? Okay, yeah, physical changes, emotional changes, Physical changes, lifestyle changes, and emotional changes. You think this is the first one I did, but really I've done quite a few. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about my journey and the meds that I'm on to kind of catch you up. I started just on Spiro, and I was on Spiro for about two and a half months, and then I started taking Estradiol as well. And that's the seven months that we're talking about today. Last month I also started on uh, progesterone, progesterone uh, to help kind of speed up some of the changes that hadn't been going on. So I'm on 100 milligrams twice a day of spironolactone. I'm on estradiol 2.1 milligram patches twice a week uh, and 100 milligrams of progesterone once a day. So let's start with some first. Over the course of the last month I started a new medication and that has been causing causing I've had a lot of changes that have come about because of that. It is really cold out here, you guys. I'm regretting my life choices about this. I'm gonna power through. So, um, ah, where was I? Okay, so I started a new medication and uh, the progesterone has caused a lot of different uh, changes. I'll get into the positive uh, physical changes. I had some of the first negative side effects of medication with the progesterone is so that it caused uh, nausea and anxiety and both of those things definitely happened. When I first took the progesterone I was wicked nauseated for the first um, couple of days that I took it. I, however once I got used to it it was fine. I now have a little glass of milk and a slice of bread when I take my meds at night and I've gotten used to it and the nausea is no longer a thing. However I do have anxiety now that I didn't used to have. Sometimes I'll wake up having panic attacks in the middle of the night, which is never a thing that really happened before. But kind of, I get up, I move around a little bit, I read for a little while, and sometimes it lasts like an hour or two, but I do eventually usually fall back asleep. Um, so that's really all that's been going on as far as uh, negative changes. I haven't had a lot of firsts this month. There's not a whole lot to talk about and as far as that goes. Um, it's just I have finally started to notice some changes. Um, I had plateaued, I am now finally uh, moving again, which is nice. So let's get into physical changes. This is the one that most people really like talking about. My body shape has finally started to change. Um, I fill out my shirts and my pants completely differently than I ever used to. Uh, I had said that I had plateaued. I really hadn't had any physical changes for about two, maybe three months was the last time I had really seen anything. But now I started uh, changing again. So my waist has thinned out, my hips have gotten bigger, my chest has started to change. Um, I'm still only a double A, I'm a 38 double A. Um, so they haven't grown so much, but they have changed shape. They're now rounder, but they're not really any, and fuller, but they're not really any larger. So we'll see what happens in the coming months as far as that's concerned. Uh, so the other thing that's been happening is uh, my nipples are puffy, kind of like they always have been, um, but they've been chafing really bad, which might be TMI, but I mean, that's why you're here is for TMI. Um, so they've been chafing really bad, so I have to make sure I always wear an undershirt or a bra, uh, because I was wearing sweaters and stuff, and it was causing some major pain and issues. So physical changes are finally starting to get underway, and that's nice. Uh, now, as far as lifestyle changes, 
there's the new medication and that's changed uh, started to change quite a few things um, but again mostly just physical changes before all this started I was already living a fair, my pretty authentically um, it's just certain things that I didn't realize that needed to be changed but once I realized it and started changing things so I've kind of reached peak lifestyle <laughs> for the time being again not really making any changes over last month I've made changes since long so anyway whatever so emotional changes uh, this is gonna be the big one and this is I'm gonna also tell you a couple things about the future of the channel as far as um, my emotional state has been um, that sounded really ominous I didn't mean it ominous it just means I'm gonna take a break for a little while all right so I told you a little bit about the medication anxiety attacks that I've been having uh, so that's kind of sucked but I've been dealing with it as far as my bipolar depression is concerned um, it still is completely under control uh, if this is the first one of these videos that you're seeing uh, I can catch you up a little bit I have bipolar type 2 disorder and it uh, usually would send me into these really bad spirals of depression that I would have a really hard time getting out of since this whole thing started that hasn't been a problem um, my mood still fluctuates but it's perfectly within manageable kind of parameters I guess it never gets extreme I don't get into these incredibly bleak terrible downward spirals these negative feedback loops of emotion which is pretty surprising considering the pandemic and the lockdown and everything has really caused a lot of um, disconnection from friends and family it's so cold okay We're, we can do this we can do this all right um, I talked a little bit last month um, where in my last video about the holidays I talked about my uh, depression and stress around the holidays and how much I just absolutely fucking hate the holidays um, and we are now knee-deep in holiday season uh, and so my seasonal depression has been better uh, I was concerned that it was going to be just as bad as always and it has been better but it hasn't been great like I said at the top of the video I've still been really depressed it's not quite Christmas time yet we have Thanksgiving here in the US uh, Hanukkah is already underway by the time you see this it actually may be over yet uh, over but whatever we're knee-deep in the holiday season uh, so a lot of that stress a lot of that discomfort is really starting to build up um, and that's that's why I was so I mean I'm late getting this video out to you guys it should have been out like a week ago um, I took time off over Thanksgiving the Thanksgiving holiday and I just I've been sick I've been depressed and I really hate this time of year and so because of that I'm gonna be taking a break instead of doing one video every week or one video every two weeks about some sort of topic interspersed with monthly HRT updates I'm actually gonna just wait until after the holidays are over and then I'll give you the eight month HRT update in January and hopefully everything will be starting to get back on track because once we hit February you guys it's gonna be one year that this channel has been going and that's amazing so we we'll, but we'll talk about that when it gets there so I'm gonna take a break um, I'm not going anywhere I'm just not gonna be here on this channel making these videos for you I'm still doing stuff over on the other channel uh, you can check out awesome nerd network you can put a link right here YouTube lets me so you can go check out over the check out the other channel I'm still doing stuff over there it's scripted so my depression doesn't really uh, slow me down as much as it does over here when stuff isn't scripted so cold all right almost done so I'll see you guys again in January um, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday like I said Christmas is coming up um, it's already been uh, so we got Christmas we get solstice we got Kwanzaa all that's coming up Hanukkah is currently going I wish you all wonderful holidays if it is your thing if you enjoy holidays um, big news is we got our very first patron um, so you can check out the patreon Pandora Studios it goes to this channel and the other channel so very first patron super exciting I think that's pretty awesome um, you know air horns fireworks a lot of them post 
Yeah, so thanks for stopping by and being my friend, you guys. Have a wonderful holiday if that is your jam. If not, I hope uh, the holiday funk doesn't get to you. Stay safe. It's scary out there. I'll see you guys after the new year. Bye.